Here we have this graphic scale too. It's a pretty straightforward too. We know that in title blocks we get this scales indicating as text. This is a label. It's reading the actual scales on the views on the sheet and then represent over here. But in the sense that when we have a graphic scale, we might need to choose the correct graphic scale uh, pictures in order for it to represent the right scale. And when there are money sheet, it becomes a uh, tedious effort. So here we have this um, sheet number one is Ace Finch. Number two is a ten, uh, one inch to ten feet. And number three, we get uh, three eighths. Number four, we get a quarter. Number five, as indicate, because there are different scales on the sheet. And the last one is none, uh, because there are no these are details, there are no scales. So um, all that we need to do is run this script. It's going to read every single view and every single sheet. When there is none scale, it's going to remove that and check the visibility. When on the other case, as indicate, delete that scale as well. And on the other hand, it's just give you the correct graphic scales. Notice how these numbers are not different. So uh, it's a very straightforward too. The only thing interesting is that unlike about the other parameters, which are text, strings, numbers, lengths, this one is actually a label parameter. So it need to fit in with a family types. That's what I did here by feeding in the family type to this title block, I'll be able to control um, the label parameters as well. So you see that uh, in this case, that's one eighth inch and uh, one eighth inch. The result is correct and accurate. That will be all.